Let's do a deep dive into the Aska A5 flying car concept, exploring its innovations, potential uses, and the challenges it faces. Description and key features. Hybrid design. The core of Aska A5's appeal is its dual-purpose nature. It aims to seamlessly transition between a road legal car and a VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, aircraft. The wings fold neatly along the vehicle's body for road mode, expanding outward for flight. Let's break down the Aska A5's powertrain, propulsion, and performance in more detail. Powertrain, the heart of the hybrid. Electric motors, the core of the system. The Aska A5 relies primarily on powerful electric motors to drive its propellers and wheels. Electric motors have several advantages in this application. Instant torque. They deliver full power the moment they start spinning, offering rapid acceleration and responsiveness. This is crucial for vertical takeoffs and landings. Efficiency. Electric motors are generally more energy efficient than gasoline engines, maximizing driving and flight range. Quiet operation. Noise pollution is a major concern with flying cars, and electric motors are significantly quieter than internal combustion engines. The gasoline range extender. While batteries are the primary energy source, a gasoline engine is essential for the Aska A5's target range. Here's why. Energy density. Current battery technology still has limitations in terms of how much energy can be stored per kilogram of weight. Gasoline packs an incredible punch in this regard. Refueling speed, recharging batteries, even with fast charging technology, takes significantly longer than filling a gasoline tank. The range extender allows for quicker turnaround if needed. The integration challenge, marrying the gasoline engine and electric motors requires sophisticated power management systems. The system must seamlessly switch between battery power and engine-driven charging, maximizing efficiency at all times. Propulsion, mastering lift and control. Six propellers. Why so many? Redundancy. Multiple propellers offer safety. If one motor fails, the others can potentially compensate, avoiding a catastrophic loss of lift. Maneuverability. Distributing the propellers across the aircraft allows for fine control over pitch, roll, and yaw, the rotational movements around its different axes. This is vital for both precise flight and navigating roads. Noise mitigation. Smaller, more numerous propellers might spin at lower speeds for the same lift, possibly reducing noise compared to fewer, larger propellers. Pivoting propellers. Adapting to the task, the ability to change propeller orientation is crucial. Vertical flight. During takeoff and landing, propellers will likely be oriented for maximum vertical thrust, pushing air downwards. Forward flight. Once airborne, the propellers can tilt to provide forward thrust, much like on a traditional airplane. Road mode. On the road, Propellers likely become inactive or even fold into the vehicle to minimize drag. Performance figures. Balancing range and speed. The range trade-off. The 400 km road range is decent for an electric car. However, the 250 km air range is limited compared to traditional aircraft. This highlights the challenge of battery technology. Increasing capacity for longer flight reduces road performance due to added weight. Not blisteringly fast, the Aska A5's top speeds are reasonable but not record-breaking. This likely reflects a design prioritization of efficiency and range over outright speed. The real-world factor. Performance figures are often given under ideal conditions. Factors like headwinds, passenger and cargo weight, and battery degradation over time will affect real-life range and speed capability. Innovations and Technological Highlights In-wheel motors, the Aska utilizes in-wheel motors for its road driving mode. 
This eliminates traditional drivetrain components, reducing weight and potentially freeing up interior space. Aerodynamic efficiency. The focus on folding wings highlights the importance of careful aerodynamic design. In flight mode, the ASCA likely aims to reduce drag to maximize range and minimize lift energy requirements. Autonomy integration. While not explicitly confirmed, the ASKA's long-term vision likely includes integration with autonomous driving and navigation technologies. This could make flying cars accessible even to those without pilot licenses. Advanced materials. Lightweight yet strong materials, like carbon fiber composites, will likely be essential to the ASKA's construction to offset the weight of batteries and motors. Potential use cases. Commuter transport. The ASCA A5, if widely adopted, could revolutionize commuting. Imagine bypassing gridlock traffic and flying directly to your workplace. Suburb to city travel times could be drastically reduced. Regional travel. Short hops between neighboring cities become much more convenient and time efficient than traditional airline transport with its lengthy airport procedures. Emergency services. The ASKA's VTOL capabilities make it ideal for rapid response in emergency medical situations or search and rescue operations. It could access areas even helicopters find challenging. Leisure and tourism. Weekend getaways and scenic tours take on a new dimension with a flying car, opening up possibilities unavailable with ground-based vehicles. Challenges and discussion points. Safety. Perhaps the most critical challenge facing flying cars. Extensive testing and rigorous safety protocols will be vital to public acceptance. Systems will need redundancy in case of component failures. Regulation. The legal framework for flying cars simply doesn't exist at scale. Who licenses pilots? What kind of insurance is needed? How does traffic control work when flights become much more accessible? Noise pollution. Electric motors help, but the ASCA will inevitably be louder than ground-based cars. Public acceptance, especially in urban areas, depends on addressing noise concerns. Infrastructure. VTOL operations can be infrastructure light but still require designated landing pads. Will parking structures be converted? Will dedicated vertiports be built and where? Cost. Early flying cars will undoubtedly carry a hefty price tag. Mass adoption hinges on affordability and potential operating costs, energy, maintenance. Exploring the concept further. Let's delve into a few more specific areas to understand the ASCA A5 and the world of flying cars better. The history of flying car dreams. The idea of a vehicle blending road and sky capability has been around for decades. Let's explore past successes and failures and what has changed to make the ASCA seem more feasible. Competitors and alternative designs. The ASCA A5 isn't alone. Companies like PALV, Terrafugia, and more have their own take on the flying car. How do they compare in design, features, and target market? Social and environmental impact. Could wider adoption of flying cars alleviate traffic congestion? Are there new environmental considerations, noise, different energy use patterns? What are the potential changes to our urban landscape? The ASCA A5 is still in development. These figures and design aspects could change as the engineers refine the vehicle before its potential commercial release. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join the community. Your support means a lot. Like this video and share it with anyone who loves cars.